All right. Zebracast. Wow. Uh, actually, you know what? Uh, let's forget about the podcast. Let's just forget <laughs> about the podcast in general. Let's not. Um, All right, let's go. Well, this is this is this is Zebracast, uh, the Zebracorn podcast, episode two, motherfuckers. Um, today, I am joined by, of course, John. Hello. Our good friend David. Hi. And our new sound guy, Tyler. Hey there, Tyler. Hello. And of course, I'm Wes. And uh, let's get this show started, I guess. Um, David, where do we know you from? I feel like you're so familiar, it's on the tip of my tongue. Why don't you just remind us? Tell us how you got into this place. Uh, how did you get in my house? First of all, <laughs> first of all your roommate let me in. <laughs> No, but uh, <laughs> what roommate? <laughs> <laughs> the guy on the couch. But uh, no, uh, more pertinent to your question, sir, Wes. Um, I actually run a blog, uh, as you mentioned in your last podcast. I run a blog called Exofren. Uh, it's spelled E X O P H R I N E dot com. Yes. That's E X O P H R I N E dot com. Bookmark it, people. That's mm-hmm. right. Put it under your underwear. Put it in your underwear. Make you feel happy. Yeah. I hate to sound like, you know, one of those annoying radio, you know, commercials that you always hear where they, you know, uh, f- repeat the website 10, 20 times. Oh, it's too late for that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they can always just rewind and play it again so they can make sure you see it 10 times. Yeah. Yeah. What was that website again? Moving on. Okay. Um, <laughs> well, I, I, th- I feel like we should introduce a little bit more structure into our podcast. So real quick. I'm just going to go over, like, a brief agenda. Please do, because I don't know what we're talking about. Me neither. Fire away, uh, sir. Okay, well, first off, we're going to talk about the comic. Then we're going to move on Thank smoothly God. Okay. And the future plans of the site. I know that people are so excited to hear that we're actually doing something. Let's uh, do it. Hooray. Then we're going to talk some more uh, video game and entertainment news. There's some cool things I want to talk about with you guys. And also... Well, I want to talk um, to you, too. At the, at the end of this podcast, we have a very, very, very special segment. Uh, this past weekend, we got to interview MC Frontalot. I was there. I, I witnessed it. It was pretty crazy. Like, I can't believe our first interview was with MC Frontalot. But that, that will be later in the show. So I'm surprised by the level of access you have <laughs> after one episode. <laughs> I know. Uh, I, like, it's, it's funny because... Like, <laughs> this was totally impromptu. Um, I feel sorry that we kind of just like totally, um, to put it bluntly, we just totally ambushed this guy after a show right before he gave us some cushy like fan service by, well not fan service, but like, you know, sent our stuff and took pictures with us, you know, kissed us on our foreheads and told us everything was going to be all right. Oh my God. He's a really cool guy though. Yeah. I mean, and, uh. We got to ask him some pretty cool questions as well. I mean, I guess it's just like, how far can we take this? I mean, how many other events are we going to go to where we're just going to bum rush these like celebrities and into an interview? It's, it's, who's next on our list? As many as it takes, I guess. Uh, Robin Williams will be the next one. Robin Williams. Oh my god. No, think lower. We'll, just, we'll ask him to. <laughs> we'll ask to interview him as Mrs. Doubtfire. <laughs> I'll bring the wig. Oh my god. So the comic. You, comic, you guys didn't just give them all, uh, you what? know, softball questions, did you? No, 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 no. No, no, no. Uh, I wouldn't go that far. We actually, uh, we had our, our friend Cubis. You know him. We all know him. Uh, well, maybe maybe you people listening to this podcast don't know him, but uh, he's he's a he's a an amateur rapper friend of ours, and uh, yeah. we thought it'd be cool if uh, he came along on the interview. Sort of since MC Frontalot, nerdcore rapper, started nerdcore. So what better person to ask a couple of questions than, you know, an amateur rapper? Yeah. So I think I think we got some pretty good questions. I mean, I don't want to give away what we asked, but... Uh, yeah, did you say the interview lasted a good 15 to 20 minutes? Yeah, we're keeping it at the end of the show so that we can drag people through the rest of the podcast so they're forced to listen to us. <laughs> Jeez, who do you guys think you are? EA Games? Oh, ho, ho, ho. Yeah, you you well mean Oblivious be. Arts. <laughs> <laughs> that's Oblivious Arts. Not EA. We don't have anything against EA. I, uh, I do, but <laughs> that's my own <laughs> personal opinions. 
The only difference is you guys put this out for free. So. Yes, yes, <laughs> we do put this out for free. So. We put out for free, people. That's right. That's not the first time it's been said, nor will it ever be the last. Not in this house. And you're going to keep putting that out, aren't you? <laughs> not in this house. Putting it out hard. Well. Hard and lean. Like uh, I'm not sure machine. if those are like, two <laughs> adjectives that really... Like that hard first and one, lean. <laughs> you're being ridiculous. Maybe I'm talking about my sexy toned body. Like, did you ever think about that? I Maybe didn't. I just want to talk about my pecs. I was talking about our amateur, you know, sort of, you know, uh, attempts at trying to do a webcast, sir. Oh, I don't know where your mind went. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's I right. That's, I th- this, I... this is a microphone in front of me, isn't it? Yeah, you know, we're not talking about your mind in the gutter. Okay. Well, then, if we're going to be talking about the podcast, then let's talk about what the people really want to know. Not the MC Frontline interview. That's later. The comic. The comic, the comic, the comic. Okay. Super cool. Um, yeah, I'm totally down to talk about the comic. I mean, we had a, we had a pretty good week on the comic. Uh, we released some new pages. Uh, I feel like maybe we opened opened some eyes with with the latest <laughs> page in the comic. I feel we totally got away with uh, showing a homosexual rape scene. Oh, inter- homosexual interspecies rape scene, and no one thought otherwise. I mean, I didn't think twice about it, and I'm the one who drove it. I didn't think twice about it until it came to my attention long after I already had left. Uh, uh, well, usually when you're that far into production, just let it ride. <laughs> I'm not going to apologize for it. There you go. I don't even think we have anyone to apologize to, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, I mean, no, I mean, that was cool. But then what I thought was weird was... Uh, even though we got we got quite a bit of attention for that new page, what was even stranger is that at the same time we were pulling in all this attention to an older page in 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 the comic from last September. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh New Duds three. And it's just like why? Why? Why all of a sudden? Why all of a sudden? Maybe people love pink people. Like I, I feel like <laughs> And hence that uh illegal drug use. I feel like the people reading like the third page of New Duds is incredibly disproportionate <clears throat> to the the amount of people reading the second and the first page, and that concerns me just a little bit. Maybe someone thought that one page was particularly funny, out of context, and just showed it to everybody they knew. Oh my god! In their dorm. I mean, I guess I can't complain. You know, if people want to read our comic. You know, I'm not going to tell them how to do it. We should. Well, I mean, maybe we should. Well, I mean, it could be. But uh, I think we should go ahead and hit our next topics. You guys are how far out the gate and you're already worried about people, you know, uh, sharing your work? Yeah. I mean, I wouldn't like if people shared. Yeah. Even the inappropriate stuff. Anything. Good. They can just share one panel that had no dialogue in it. Yeah. I mean, as long as it gets back to us. Uh, I mean... We talked about some future plans for the site last week, yeah. but uh, I guess we didn't go into too much great detail. Uh, we, we? Talk, we talked about the web series. Um, we have a director for that web series, don't we? And I think, yeah, I think I think you're more familiar with him than I am. Oh yeah, because he's actually my brother. <laughs> <laughs> but but uh, yeah, um, he's uh, he's uh, he's doing pretty well. He, he was like someone that I've always seen his work and I've always, I really always just enjoyed everything he's done. It's um he's uh I want to say that his like directing style is very reminiscent of Tim and Eric esque, but like it's just far far really weird. And I feel like for what we're doing, there's no other perfect person to get to do it. And and the fact that he's willing to do it for free is Oh well, yeah, but let's not tell him that he's gonna have to do it for free. Well, we said it on the <laughs> air, so okay, he's we gonna... sort of got him in between a rock and a hard place. I mean, thirty-four people now know that <laughs> that, <laughs> that this man is gonna do it for do free. It for free. <laughs> but I mean, it, it's gonna be fun, though. Uh, I mean, I'm gonna have fun doing it. Yeah, we found we found some new cast members for it as well, so the cast is starting to stock up. We don't want to say who is going to be in it, but. Uh, I don't know, we had some tricky people that we needed to cast, and I can't believe we just wrangled them, like, no big deal. Yeah, it's funny what alcohol does to a person's inhibitions. 
It's funny what alcohol does to a lot of things. You know, right. personal judgment. I mean... I'm not saying we drink a lot, but uh, we, we like do. to swim. 